Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, uh, the Mad Kyger. Oh, my neck is killing. I think I slept on it funny. Um, and up here today with the PlayStation 4 collection. Um, it's, I'll be honest with you, it's just one shelf. <laughs> um, it's dwindled a lot, um, mostly because there's a couple of reasons. First of all, money. I've, I've been a bit bad with money over the last couple of months. So a lot of the games I've had to sell and, and things like that. Um, trade-ins and things but also because a lot of times I'll have a game physical and then PlayStation will give it away for free digital and I think to myself well if I can still play the game that's good enough for me and one game you know if I can go oh I can sell this game for 10-15 pounds get my money back but still be able to play it that's just how I am you know um, it's, as much as I'd love to have a complete four, a PS4 collection is it really necessary? I don't know. This is, I'm going to do another video talking about my new views on the collection and things. Um, I've resubscribed to PlayStation now and um, I'm going to have a look on there later and see if there's anything that stands out. Um, I'm going to play some Lego Movie video game tonight. Last night I watched The Last Jedi um, and finished Far Cry 6 this morning. Um, well, I say finished it, I, meet, I beat the main story. I'll be honest, I was skipping all the cutscenes. I wasn't a really big fan of the story to begin with. Um, it was quite generic for me. So I just wanted to beat the game. Um, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to go back and try and do 100%. I will do the DLC stuff for sure. Um, but I haven't decided if I'm going to try and get all of the crates and stuff like that. Um, I, I might just leave it installed. I'll probably do the DLC first, leave it installed. And then if I do want to come back to it in the future, I can play it. Um, but, uh, so, I don't know what my next Xbox playthrough will be. Well, let's just go straight into the PS4 stuff. First up, we have Tropico 5, Complete Collection. All of the stuff's on the disc, which is awesome. The best way to have a Complete Collection. Um, I, I think I might have played a little bit of one of the Tropico games. And I couldn't really get into it. But maybe I'll, uh, give it another go. I have a digital version on Xbox and all of that. So, this game's always free. Um... Uh, it, it's a sort of it's to, you know like a cuban city simulator dictator type thing um the lego movie 2 video game i'm still in the process of playing this one i'm going to play some more tonight i'm going to do a review on this game because there's a few things i want to say about it i'm enjoying it but i don't know if i enjoy it as much as the other ones star wars the lego star wars complete um skywalker saga coming out on march uh sorry april 5th so I will be putting my pre-order in for that. I'm going to just buy it digital on the Xbox series. Just because um, it probably be the best version to play. Um, I might get a physical version at some point in the future. But again, do I really need to have a physical if I've got a digital version? I don't know. Um, but I, I, I'll be playing more of that tonight. Then we have Extinction. Um, basically like an Attack on Titan type style game. Um, I remember playing a bit of it. It was okay. It wasn't nothing amazing. Most of the stuff here is stuff that um, isn't worth a lot of money. So it's not really worth me trying to trade it in. Um, anyway. Um, then we have Samurai Warriors 5. Um, I haven't played this one yet. That's why I'm keeping it. Because I love the Warriors game. So I'm keeping this one. Because I do want to play it. Uh, same with Omen of Sorrow. It's still sealed. Um, this is basically a fighting game with sort of like horror inspired characters like frankenstein dracula those sort of things but it's got its own sort of design on it um not really a huge fighting game fan but it looked kind of cool um and it might become a little bit more rare and collectible in the future uh, then we have shenmue one and two still sealed um i have a uh, part one and two digital on xbox but i figured you know, I'll get it on the PS4 because I have um, part 3 as well, physical. So, be looking forward to checking this one out at some point. Never played the originals. But I've heard these, if you like Yakuza, you'll enjoy this one. Um, so, uh, then we have an NHL 17. Again, sports games, I pick them up if I see them cheap. Um, you know, so they might be fun. Sometimes they're fun to just have a little bit of a competitive match here and there. Uh, then we have Exist Archive. This is actually an American game because it's got teen there. But um, 
the PlayStation 4 is Region 3. Not a lot of people know that. You can play any PS4 game on any region for the most part. But just be careful when you're ordering like Japanese, Japanese Chinese games. Make sure they have English language. Um, this looks like a sort of 2.5D JRPG type thing. Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends. Um, I enjoyed this one for what it was. I love the Warriors games. Um, I think this is on PlayStation now, but it's not really worth a lot of money. So, um, at least in CES. Dungeons 3. This is kind of like a throwback to um, like Warcraft 3 and those sort of games. Um, sort of like a strategy type game. When I played it, it reminded me a lot of Warcraft 3. Um... I, I, I played a little bit of it. I was enjoying it for what it was. But I enjoyed the original Warcraft 3 back in the day. Drive Club. Just a, a Sony branded racing game. I know they have a, um, a VR version. Um, again, not expensive. But it's an exclusive. Um, then we have Dragon Age Inquisition. Haven't played this yet. I've heard it's really, really good. I played a tiny bit of the first one and a little bit of the second one. Um, but you don't. I don't think you really need to play the games. Each one's their own sort of thing, I believe. But I've heard it's really good. Bioware. Uh, Don Bradman Cricket. Cricket game. There's not a lot of cricket games anymore. So I think these are kind of a niche market. But it's not an overly expensive game. Same with Dino Diki's, um uh, Dino Dini's Kickoff Revival. I believe this was originally a Sega game. It's sort of like a top down football game. This is extremely cheap, so pick it up if you like those sort of things. Oli Oli 2, Welcome to Hollywood. Um, it's like a two uh, a two D skateboarding indie type game. Really cheap game. They've just announced the new one coming out. Um, then we have Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. Day one edition. Um, I haven't played this one. I've heard it's good. Um, if you like the um the one on the Xbox 360, um, I played a tiny bit of the Xbox 360 one, and I enjoyed what it was. But so um, I have to give that one a go. Then we have Daymare. This is um 1998, the Black Edition. Comes with some postcards and stickers. Um, this game is basically like a throwback to like Resident Evil 4. Um, you know, the sort of over-the-shoulder Resident Evil type games. It's not as good as Resident Evil 2 or 3, um, 2 Remake. But if you like those sort of games, um, I've heard this one kind of a fun one. Um, I'm keeping it. Um, CX don't even sell the Black Edition. Um, they just sell the normal version of the game. Um, so I don't know how much this goes for now. But it's, it's a rather cheap game on Amazon. Uh, then we have Just Cause 3 Gold Edition. Um, I played a little bit of Just Cause 3 on the Xbox um, One and I thought it was fun but I'll be honest with you I get burned out really quickly with Just Cause games. Um, they're fun games but they are kind of, they do burn you out after a while. Um, but the Gold Edition comes with all of the DLC I think included on the disc. Still sealed. I, I might just um, keep this one sealed because I think the gold edition might become a little bit more rare in the future. I don't know yet. Um, Jagged Alliance Rage still sealed. Um, I believe this is a tactical like XCOM game. Rather cheap game. You can get this dirt cheap as well. Um, Shopkeep. This looks like a lot of fun. I'm gonna have to give this one a go. It's like a first person um, shop game where it's set in like medieval times and. You own your own shop and um, you build things for people and it looks really interesting. I'm going to have to give it a go. It looks like a lot of fun actually. Uh, Shenmue 3. Um, a lot of people were really disappointed with Shenmue 3. They felt like the story kind of wasn't complete. I don't know. I've never played them. Um, but again, a lot of people said it didn't feel much like a next gen game and all of this. But I don't know. I'll give it a go for myself. Um, Constructor, uh, this is the uh, yeah, Constructor, the PS4 version, originally an old um, PS1 and PC game, um, strategy type game. These are rather, all of these games that I've got here are pretty cheap games, so you can get them dirt cheap. 
Um, then we have Knack, one of the first PlayStation 4 games. Never played this one actually, so um, I've heard it was pretty fun. I've heard the second one didn't add too much to it though. Uh, Madden 25, this is also known as Madden 14. Um, it's celebrating 25 years of Madden. Uh, Madden 15, I'm not really a big fan of playing American football games, but I don't mind watching it every once in a while. But one thing I will say about American football is when when you watch on the TV, at least here in the UK, every like they, they play it for like two minutes and then they sit there and analyse what they've seen for like five, ten minutes. I'm like, imagine if English football was like that, you know, like every time someone got tackled they'd analyze it for like two minutes it's crazy i'm like do people really sit there and watch it for that long i normally just have it on in the background but um, then we have koto dharma um this is a mix between a puzzle game and a visual novel pretty cheap one some of these visual novel games become quite rare in the future um but some of them are really cheap if you're into that sort of thing i played one visual novel game root letter i enjoyed it it was something a bit different but i have to be in the right frame of mind to play those sort of games uh kingdoms of amalar re reckoning i remember playing it on the xbox 360 and really enjoying it it reminded me of something like fable meets um dragon age or something like that um uh, this is the remastered version of the game. Um, I know it was given away for free on PlayStation, but um, I'll, I'll have to double check if I've got a digital version so I can keep this one sealed, possibly sell it in the future. Got a steed. Excuse me. Uh, then we have Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I only really keep Call of Duty games for the campaign. I remember playing the campaign. I thought the campaign was pretty good on this one. I really enjoyed the um, the flight in parts, and you could build your own little, um, customize your own little uh, uh, airplane or whatever it was, uh, the ship. Um, I, I, I like the Call of Duty games. I do want to get Vanguard for the campaign, but I'm not paying the price that they are asking for it. Um, I don't know if this still play people still play this multiplayer online. I don't know. Um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, again, mainly got it for the campaign. I have it on PS3 as well, but I probably think I'll play the PS4 version. Um, but again, trophies as well. Um, Bound by Flame. <coughs> um, surprisingly, the PS3 version is actually more expensive than the PS4 version. Um, I remember playing a tiny bit of this um, and thinking it was an okay game, RPG type game. Um, Blaz Blue Cross Tag Battle. Um, it feels loose in there, but the game is uh, still sealed. Um, I keep games sealed until I play them, just on the off chance that I don't want to play the game or it becomes digital and I get a digital version of it so I can sell it a bit more expensive on eBay or something or Facebook and try and get a little bit more money for it that way. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not really a big fan of fighting games. 2D fighters especially, I just struggle with them. They're fun games to play with a friend if you've got someone to play it with. Um, Batman the Telltale series, um, apparently all of the um, levels are on the disc. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I have them digital on Xbox. I did have the second one physical, but I sold that one um, because you can get it. I've got them both digital. Um, 88 Heroes just looks like a sort of um, 2D action game. And as for Telltale games, again, I have to be in the right frame of mind to play them. Um, 8 to Glory, one of the only bull um, riding video games. Um, I got this one because I feel like this might become rare in the future. I don't think a lot of people probably would have brought this game. Um, as for bull ring games go, maybe it's one of the best ones ever made. Who knows? Then we have Zombie. Um basically a sort of zombie survival horror game set in London um, originally on the Wii U I'll be honest with you it's not that great um, it is a little bit disappointing and on the Wii U it's pretty good because it was quite unique um, but unfortunately it doesn't transfer very well 
Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, I've not played any Mass Effect game. I played a tiny bit of the first one, but I do have the Legendary Edition on my Xbox Digital, so I will probably play those ones. I know you don't need to play the uh, the others to enjoy this one. Well, I say enjoy it, but um, of course, another game that had a lot of mid, um, problems. Uh, then we have Metal Gear Survive, another game that had a lot of backlash. I remember playing the demo of it, doing it co-op, and I thought it was actually not too bad as a co-op game. Um, but I don't know how good this game is, how much single-player aspect it has. Fallout 4, really enjoyed Fallout 4. What I loved about this game is there was no end game once you beat the main storyline. You can just do what you want. Thousands of hours worth of content on here. Um... I, 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 I do have it on Xbox with all of the DLC, um, but I figured I'd, if, if I'm going to play it again, I'll play it on the PS4 and restart it all, go for a different ending, that sort of thing. Um, I, I might um, invest in the DLC as well because it's always on sale. Uh, Final Fantasy XV, never played any Final Fantasy game, um, but I might like this one because it's got more of an actual action rather than turn-based. Uh, Grand Ages Medieval, I think I played a tiny bit of this on um, digital and I couldn't really get into it. Gundam Breaker 3, um, this is a um, Asian English version of the game, it's a region free game but it will work of course. It does have English subtitles. Um, really enjoyed this game actually it's so much better than new gundam breaker um i do want to get the break edition because it has all the dlc i started playing this i do need to go back and finish it uh then we have immortal realms vampire wars um i think it's a strategy tactical game i actually didn't realize i actually had it digital as well um on on xbox um star wars battlefront um, this game was visually stunning. Gameplay was great. Um, the problem was it it didn't have enough content. 90% of the content was in DLC. Um, they did improve a lot on the second game. Uh, but there is some single player content on here that you can do uh, like survival mode and stuff um, for some achievements and things. Um, again, it's a visually stunning game for sure. Um, one thing I'm, I'm surprised they didn't actually put in the second game was the survival mode. Uh, then we have um, Artino Blade 2. Uh, never played it. This is actually... Yep, it's an English version. Agent of Mayhem. Um, the biggest problem with this game, it needed co-op. If this game would have had co-op, I think it would have done really well. Because it's a fun game. It's, it reminds me more of Crackdown than Saints Row. Um, Akiba's Beat. Um, this is like a action RPG, JRPG, but um, it has like a real-time battle system in terms of music and rhythm. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Akiba's Trip. Um, so uh, then we have American Fugitive. I actually thought this was a fun game. I, I need to go back and play it again. Um, it's like a modern version of the classic GTA top-down games. Um, it is a little bit rough around the edges, but um, I'm keeping it because it was a Christmas present. Um, Dead, Island, uh, Dead Rising 4 includes all the DLC. I did replace the case. Um, got this yesterday. Um, looking forward to replaying this game. Oh, I forgot to mention all of the DLC is on the disc for this version as well. Um, the Surge, basically like Dark Souls in the future. Um, Thief, really heavy edition here. Um, oh yeah, because it's a skill book, that's why. Um, haven't played this one. I've heard it's still pretty good um, if you enjoyed the original games. Um, Victor Vran Overkill, I had this on the Nintendo Switch, but I, I think I sold it. Um, so this game is like a, it has a Motorhead DLC, which is awesome. And then the last few, we've got Anthem, another game that failed big time, unfortunately. Um, this game was meant to get a big overhaul, but I don't know if they ever did it. Um, Assassin's Creed Origins, I sold my Odyssey because I thought I had a digital version of Odyssey, and I, I'm not sure if I, I do. I need to double check that. Haven't played any of the new Assassin's Creed games. I love the original style game, but these ones changed it, and this is the Origins Deluxe Edition with the um, mini art book. Um, 
Armagallion Decks of Destiny, a sort of strategy game with cards. Um, Murdered Soul Suspect, it's kind of an interesting game. You're basically trying to solve your own murder. Um, Necromunda Hired Gun, part of the Warhammer universe. I heard this didn't do very well, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to trying it out. Um, GTA Trilogy, I already talked about this yesterday, why I picked it up. Good to have an expensive game in the collection. Um, I think this will probably sell really quickly if I wanted to sell it. I could get my money back, maybe even make a bit of money on it. But I'm gonna play it, of course, first. Um, Warhammer Death Watch. Um, I've heard this is like uh, another sort of turn-based Warhammer game. A majority of Warhammer games are turn-based tactic games, unfortunately. Um, well, because that's what Warhammer is, isn't it? Um, War Groove, this is the deluxe edition. This is basically like um, Fire Emblem, but with music. Um, so it plays like Fire Emblem if you enjoy Fire Emblem or the Advanced Wars games. But you have to move in time to the beat, so... Um, and this did get a Nintendo version with um, yeah, Zelda. And then the last one is just NBA Live 15. I do have some more games on PS4, but they're in my sale pile, so there's no point showing them because they're gone. Um, but there's the PS4 collection. Um, tomorrow, if I have time, I would, well, I will have time, I'll do the PS3 collection. Then we'll get started on the PS2 collection. Um, it has changed a bit, so, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to like, I might, uh, feel free to leave a like, sorry. Of course, comment below, let me know what PS4 games you have. Um, I said, some Lego Movie 2 tonight, and I'm going to watch a movie on Arrow subscription. Oh, um, and the movie I'm watching will be called Street Mobster. It's a 70s Yakuza type movie, so I'm expecting it to be over the top and violent, as it always is. Um, but yeah, and uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mad Kygo. And as always, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.